Hello, this is Brother Andrew. Um, what I'd like to do is show you how to upload one of our Flash games or quizzes to the Squirm Wrapper and then how to use that in your LMS. Alright, so first of all, what you need to do is go ahead and edit your game FLA Flash file and then publish that and get the SWF file. And you need to take that and put that into the SWF folder. So these are all the Squirm Wrapper files that you have. And then you need to take that SWF from your game and just paste it into this folder. Now, you can name it anything you'd like. So we just have a sample one in here called yourtemplatefile.swift. So you may want to put it in here, and let's just say you copy in your game and you call it just game.swf. All right, so that's the first step. And then what you'll need to do is you need to edit the content and the manifest files. So basically how this whole wrapper is working is you point to the index file, and that has two frames in it. It pulls in your content, which has your Swift embedded, and then it pulls, it also pulls up a squirm.htm, which is really just a, an invisible layer that's passing data from your game to the LMS. So let's go ahead and open up the content htm. You can open it up in any, uh, any text editor, or I'm going to open it up here in, in Dreamweaver. All right, so what you need to do is make sure that it references the new Swift that you uploaded. So you can see there's a couple spots here. So you need to change this value, so it's in the Swift folder, and then it said your template file name here. So let's just put game, because that's what, what I'm using my example here. And then also come down here and change this to say game. And then one more spot here. Put game there. All right, then you go ahead and save that. And then open up your IMS manifest file. You only need to change two places here. So just the title, just those two titles right there. And basically you can call that anything. That's, that's what's going to show up in your LMS as kind of the title for this particular game. So we could call this, you know, My Awesome Game or whatever it is. So those two titles. And then you'll probably also want to change, let's see, oh, I'm sorry, you got your two titles there. That'll work. Now you could change some of your identifiers here where it says like your title, your title, you know, a couple other spots. You really don't need to do that. That just ties some stuff together in, you know, the databases of your LMS. Those will never show up on a report or anything. It's really just the two titles there that will show up. So that, that's up to you. If you want to, too, you could throw in your HTML page title. Um, all right, so you've got those two. And let me flip back over here. So once you've updated those, what you need to do is grab all of these files here, select them all, right click, and compress those or basically zip those and, and create a zip file. Do not zip a folder that has all these files. So if you have all these files contained in a folder called Scorm Wrapper, don't zip the Scorm Wrapper folder. You need to only zip the contents of the folder. And so let me change this to be um, my game, and that's your zip file. And what you need to do is go to your LMS, create a separate learning object, however you do that in your LMS, and then when you when it says to upload a SCORM package or a SCORM course or you know however it's identified in your LMS, you need to point to that zip file there. When you upload that and you know put that into your LMS course, it will automatically unpack that. They look for a manifest file and that's what gives it directions on what to do. And it's automatically going to say, hey, our index page is the main launch page, and it will take care of everything from there. So the biggest thing though. Get your game Swift into the folder, give it a name, and then reference that name. You know, give a, give a title to your uh, to your course in the manifest. Reference the name of your Swift file, that path. Reference that in your content HDM, and then zip it all up. That's it.